about two months before this project uh, initiated, or at least the first conversations of this project initiated, I heard Aviv give a talk on some of the very exciting discoveries that single cell RNA-seq analysis was making in, uh, in immune system biology in other contexts, non-cancer context. And suddenly, kind of a light went off in my thinking of, we need to really take a serious dive into melanoma with single cell RNA-seq analysis. And I got an email from Levi Garraway who said, if we could make this work in the precision medicine pipeline, this would be truly transformative. The mission of the Klarman Cell Observatory is to understand the circuits of different molecules and cells that interact with each other in normal biological processes and in human disease. All of these things occur in tissues. These tissues are very complex. There are many different types of cells there. And what we want to be able to do is to look at each of these cells individually, understand how it talks to all the others, and how things work well or how they go awry. We know that cancers are very heterogeneous structures uh, that include cancer cells, immune cells, other cells. And by current profiling methods, that inherent variability and heterogeneity is, is very hard to capture, if not impossible. So we decided a good way to start would be to just sequester all the cells and, and to keep them uh, separate so that we could do all these you know, wonderful molecular biology techniques so that we could have a sequence that was uh, or a sequencing library that was unique to every single cell. The tumors are made of many different kinds of cells, and in the past, genomics could only look at the average. It would take one big bulky tumor, mush it all up, and then measure the average. And this average was across different types of malignant cells and all sorts of normal cells. We've always known that we want to go beyond that and understand what is each individual cell doing. In those tumors that we analyze, we uh, look at hundreds, if we can do thousands of cells, and we get to a resolution that we, we've never seen before. The analogy we often make is it's like, a, it's like a smoothie. You know, sometimes it's fine to just have the smoothie, but other times you might want to know what, what are the ingredients in this smoothie. And bulk analysis doesn't really allow you to tease out with great precision what ingredients might have gone into that smoothie. Single cell analysis allows you to say, oh, well, there's this number of grapes and this number of strawberries and this number of, you know, whatever. I think one of the most exciting possibilities of applying this technology to melanoma specifically is the ability to detect resistant cells. If you were to look on a global level with current profiling methods, you could separate tumors into one category sensitive or another category resistant. However, when we looked at our, with our single cell approach, we found that every cancer, irrespective of how they look globally, does already contain these cells that are resistant to the treatment and that will ultimately cause the cancer to recur. Melanoma is really the, it's the textbook example of a tumor where the insights that you could get from single cell analysis might teach us about the full spectrum of biology and therapy and the kinds of features of cells that might be predictive of response or lack of response to each of the major therapies that melanoma patients receive. We, I mean, uh, myself and the entire Garraway lab uh, are very excited about working with Aviv Regev's lab and Alex Shalek's lab uh, in this effort to apply these cutting edge technologies. We can apply all of these technologies in this translational uh, space and hope to learn uh, more not only in melanoma and the tumors that we're studying right now, but ultimately hopefully be able to implement this technology to guide uh, patient care. My hope is that in a few years from now I can sit together with one of my patients and say, hey, we have this great technology and based on your individual characteristics of the characteristics of your tumor, uh, we may have figured out a way to find the best possible uh, treatment for you.